Okay, today we're going to do something that I personally have never done before. We're going to shoot three arrows of different weights at 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 yards to show the difference in the arrow drop between these arrows. So hopefully if you're looking to go up in weight or go down in weight, change your setup, whatever it may be, the differences of these arrows and the results that we get will hopefully help you in making your decision one way or the other, whichever way you want to go. I'm going to be shooting these three arrows out of my prime Nexus 4, 70 pounds, 30 inch draw. First arrow we're going to shoot is an Easton Axis 5 millimeter. It's a 260 spine, total arrow weight is 604 grains. This is what I shoot, this is my hunting setup. This is what my bow is tuned to, so we're going to shoot this one first, and then we're going to shoot the other two. The second arrow that I have here is another Easton Axis 5 millimeter. It's a 300 spine, total arrow weight is 565 grains. The third arrow I have here is a Victory RIP Gamer arrow. This is a 397 grain arrow. Super small, super low, I get it, but this is what we got. This is my son's arrow uh, where he shoots targets out here. So these are the three that I have in my house. These are the three we're gonna shoot. Maybe this will help you, maybe it won't, but either way it'll be fun. Let's get started.
Okay, there you go. You can see how fast the arrow took to get from the bow to the target. Hopefully this helped you. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it was just for fun. Either way, make sure your bow is tuned. Make sure your arrows are shooting straight. And make sure that you are not shooting an arrow that is not properly sighted in for your bow. We've lost the 397 grain arrow. It skipped off the top of the target and flew into the cornfield. Hopefully this helped you in some way, whether you're going up in weight or down in weight. Either way, it's fun tinkering with things like this. I am by no means an expert or a scientist. I'm just doing this for fun, showing my results. Hopefully you get something from this. If you don't, then you don't, but hopefully you get something from this. I urge you all to keep continuing shooting straight, keep tinkering, keep exploring the world of archery. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share them with your friends and let me know what you'd like to see next.